Well, he now lives in upstate New York, but he has Milwaukee connections to the core. Philanthropist Peter Buffett is in town to celebrate a milestone tonight. It's one that local artists have been applauding for years. Oh Since, my can God. you believe what has no, happened to yeah. downtown Milwaukee? It's incredible. And yeah. Philanthropist and former really Milwaukeean really Peter Buffett is back in town for the 10 year anniversary of 88.9 Radio Milwaukee, a station he helped launch. That's why we actually created the station, is to remind people how wonderful this place is. I sat down with the son of billionaire Warren Buffett at the station tonight. I asked him what he misses most about Milwaukee. Just that strong sense of community, not only right there in that area, but also in the town itself, and, and just the fact that there was so much pride here and, and kind of quiet pride. And I feel just like a kid inside a candy shop. As a successful musician and composer, Peter Buffett has a passion for music and social justice. Messages learned in youth. What I felt in the house was a deep sense of First of all, how lucky he was to do what he did, to be born who he was at the time he was, and how important it was for everyone to have the kinds of opportunities he knew he had. His billionaire dad taught him that loving your work is more important than working for money. Now, most people think of my dad as this guy that made a lot of money and still continues to seem to make a lot of money, but he was doing what he loved. He wasn't doing it for the money. He was doing it because he was good at it and he loved it. Peter okay, Buffett believes strongly in lifting others station, through his Novo there, Foundation well. and supporting projects like 88.9 Radio Milwaukee. Peter Buffett is a man who's inherited a heart of compassion, and that Most makes him rich in spirit. Right Most people think I have to live up to something, like I have this big shadow of a man that I'm, you know, but it's not true at all. I have to live into uh, the gifts I've been given in the life I've had and try and then, uh, you know, put money, which is just energy, you know, into the world. And one of the aims of Buffett's Novo Foundation is to end violence against girls and women all over the world. And this Saturday, outside the station will be a block party from 1.30 to 10 p.m. It's all part of the 10th anniversary celebrations. There's going to be a day of food, fun, art at 220 Pittsburgh, so you have to get a chance to get down there and see it. What a, what a, a what a grounded man, huh? Yeah, you know, he just, you wouldn't, you know, his father's like that too, they right. say. I, I've never met him, but just, just regular down-to-earth man that, you know, you and I could have coffee with, you know, no ego whatsoever. Yeah. Very good, impressive. Good dude, huh? Yes. All right.